today is the day that I take my last nursing exam as a student. And I'm freaking excited. It is 7.30. My exam is for population health. It's at 8 o'clock. I don't even know. Wish me luck. I don't really need luck because whatever happens during the exam is what happens during that exam. All that matters is that I get through it. I pass my class and I celebrate. So our nursing students at our school like to have this tradition where after their last exam, they like go out in front of our nursing building and they pop champagne. So we're planning on doing that. I'm excited and I'm ready to be done. And this feels very unreal like what the heck what do you mean i'm graduating what do you mean i'm about to take my last exam i just started but i'm so excited so ricky and i are going to document our you know us finishing out our year and i'm just happy that I, we made it this far so i'll take them with you guys later see you guys <laughs> welcome to the vloggy vlog Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Good morning. So it is the week, I'm gonna move the shadow. It is the week of graduation. So the prep begins. Today, Ricky and I, we're gonna go get our nails done. Because we need to get done, get our toes done. I already got my eyebrows done like last, I don't know. I got my eyebrows done already because sometimes they get a little bit sensitive. And here is my finished product. I am trying out this flexi rod to help put curls in my hair. And guys, if it doesn't work, don't mind this part. Don't look at her. If it doesn't work, I will be upset. So now I'm gonna leave it literally in for over like 24 hours. So I'm gonna, and hopefully I get really cute curls that will work for graduation. And it was heatless, productless. So I just put a little bit of water in my hair and then put these in and then I think it'll stay. Good morning! Um, it is my last official shift as a nurse extern today. And so I'm driving into work yep. and I got the nurse. So the way my nurse extern works is that I have, usually people like transition into like a tech role in their nurse externship, but mine stays on as an extern. So I get to shadow the nurse for like my entire time there for like the full 12 hours. So I've been working with this one nurse a lot. And so I got her a little gift and it's nice because it's also a nurse's week. I'm gonna give it to her after work, so I'm excited to see her reaction. Many hours later. Today was a good day. It was a good day. It was kind of a weird day because I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't really doing much. Like I was like weirdly doing like a one-on-one -on -one with this one lady and then our patient like RT'd when they went up to like one of their tests. It was an overall weird day, but it was my last day and I cannot believe it. And so I didn't really tell too many people that I was leaving. Like I told the nurse that I work with, her fiance, um, and then this tech, and then like the secretary that I'm like closer with, and then of course my manager knows, so it's so weird. I feel like I like left them, but I know it's just about, you know, chapters in your life, and I'm not gonna cry, it's fine. It's just, you know, bittersweet moments right now, leaving your first like nursing-esque job, and leaving like such a supportive group of nurses when, you know, not that they're down bad right now, but you know, they're orienting a lot of new people. And so there's a lot of turnover on the floor because a lot of people have left. So it just feels weird leaving them. But I'm glad of the time that I spent there. I'm so thankful for all the nurses that have really taken me underneath their wing and really shown me the way. So I'm grateful. I'm really grateful and it's just, my next time I do a freaking 12 hour shift guys, I will be a registered nurse. So that's especially crazy, but I'm happy, I'm happy. And I graduate tomorrow. So now I have to go take a shower and make sure that my everything is prepared because I graduate tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the day of graduation, the morning of, me and P have to be there by 8 a.m. So we're really up super early and we just woke up and we're about to start getting ready with our makeup and our hair. So peace.
with us. Is it with getting dressed? I have my stoles on, my dress on, hair and makeup done. I have one more stole to get, but it's getting real, guys, and I made it. It's graduation day. It's graduation day. So I know Ricky already filmed a little bit of her morning. I didn't film all of my morning, I'm sorry. But I'm checking in, showing you guys. This is the face. I know, she looks quite light, but that's my kind of makeup. Like, I don't like eyelashes because I don't know how to put them on. And eyeshadow, I don't really like. So I just kind of like just like a base and like contour that you can't really see anymore. But um, yeah, that's the base. And did my hair. She's coming out cute and I'm excited. So, fit check. Yeah, she came together nice. Done. Walking over. Gonna go meet up with Ricky and the other graduates of today. So the way my school did it is that we have many ceremonies throughout the week. And so the class of 2020 didn't get a graduation. So some of the class of 2020 nursing students are gonna be here and um, some of 2021, which is my year. So it's gonna be some people that I probably am not familiar with, but we're all graduating together and it's here. Gonna miss this very pretty campus. Golf cart things. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. So I would rate right here with Officer Donald. Hi, Chester and Melrose. Where's Ricky? Go Pride! It's graduation day. We did it. We're yeah. here. Repping the ooh, Widener Pride. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> We're getting in line now. Getting in line. We have our tassels on. Yes. A fish, a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish. A fish. A fish. Big fish, right. Priscilla, put yours on the right side, please. Oh, sorry, y'all. Let's see your nightingale lamp. Okay, I think we got it. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Good morning again. It is the day after graduation. I'm freaking tired. I have work at 2.30. It's only a four hour shift. I work at 2.30 and I want to pack up my entire room. Look at my room. And there's still definitely stuff in my kitchen. There's still stuff in my closet, um, stuff in my bathroom. I need to pack up this entire room today so that way I could leave by tomorrow morning because me and my sisters, we want to go out shopping tomorrow. So this is going to be a task, but I got some breakfast here, so. All of my stuff fit, guys. I was so scared this wasn't gonna fit. I have like four big old boxes in here. <sighs> I'm not even gonna open my trunk because I'm scared something's gonna fall out, but all of it fit. I got a whole moving cart in there. I know, it's it's low-key a hazard to be driving like this because I'm not, well, I can not actually see throughout my side mirror and I can see through my back. So this is a lot better than last year when last year I could not even see anything. The only thing that's not gonna fit that I'm gonna give up on is my is my mirror because <laughs> I don't I get it now I get why people leave stuff behind and put it in the trash even though it's fine because this is a lovely mirror it's a lovely mirror but it would be too much to try to take it home and I have mirrors at my house and I could just buy a new one and it's crazy because this is the last time I'm moving out this is the last time I'm moving back home and I'm not really coming back onto campus. So next place I get that I'll be moving to will be my official apartment and that's exciting. But I figured maybe I'll just buy myself a new mirror, a nicer mirror and not this one that I literally did get for free. Some place, some student left it behind and I took it. So I'm gonna leave it here because anybody else would like it. Bye guys. I always knew this day would come We'd be standing one by one 
with our future in our hands. So many dreams, so many plans. I always knew after all these years, there'd be laughter, there'd be tears. But never thought I'd walk away with so much joy, but so much pride.